In this video, I'm going to show you one action within Power Automate Desktop called as Run Application. So uh, as usual, you need to open Power Automate. Uh, so I will open Power Automate app installed in my uh, machine. So the moment I do that, I will be landed in the screen. Uh, I will click on New Flow. Make sure you're in the right environment. So I'll say Run Some App. So this is just a flow name, which I create. And once uh, the infrastructure is ready, uh, you will be presented with a canvas to uh, write down your Power Automate scripts. Okay, so on the left hand side, if you click on search actions text box, just type run. Okay, the moment you type run, you will see uh, under system there's something called as run application. Okay, now I just drag and drop this in the main canvas. Now it asks for me for an application path. Now the goal for this particular engagement is to execute a Windows app. Now the basic Windows app for me is like, uh, I'd say uh, calculator. So I know the path of it. So if you don't know the path, then maybe you can search calc.exe in your uh, file explorer. I have already done that exercise, so I know the path. So it's in C Windows System 32 slash calc dot exe. Okay. The, and rest all, I will not make any change. I'll just click on save and let me run this application. The moment I click on run, my calculator gets opened. Okay. And I'll just close this calculator. Now let's uh, see what uh, the description says for run application. Now it says executes an application or opens a document by executing the associated application. Now, in this example, what we have done is we have just opened a calculator app, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open a Word document, okay? Uh, now that Word document is uh, stored in my file system, okay? So here you can see uh, there is a document called as hello.docx in CXX folder. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna again drag this component run application and here I will say c colon xx slash hello dot docx. Okay, I hope the path is right and I click on save. Now I will disable this calculator running application so i just right click on it and say disable action so that means this first command will not get executed when i run this i click on save and i click on run now the moment i do that i see uh, the word application is triggered and it opens the document which i have given in the path so what we have seen is we can uh, open a calculator, we can open a Word document uh, by providing some path. Now, there are some other things which we can run. There's something called as run DOS command. Okay. So if I drag this component over here, okay. Now, I the basic and the simple command in DOS is I'd say echo. Okay. And I'll say uh, hello, Australia. Okay. Now let's assume this is some text, okay? Now what DOS command will do, it will just display eco Australia and the variable produced should be command output, okay? So just make a note of it. Click on save, okay? Now I'm running this command, this command will get executed, then what? What are we going to do with that? Maybe I'll just say uh, message, okay? So uh, if I type in message, then I can show a display message, okay? So that display message will, uh, will be say title is say i just say put Girish as a title and in the message to display i will say i will click here on this variable and i'll try to get the variable which was uh, part of that run dos command okay so that variable of that run dos command was command output so i'll select this and click on select here so what essentially it should do is this display message should show a message box with the title as Girish and message to display as whatever we have typed as echo in the run DOS command, okay? So let's run this. But before I run this, I need to just disable this uh, hello.docx. So 
Now currently it will just run a DOS command and it will display the message. Save this. And I'll run this. Now the DOS command is executed and the display message is shown. Now you won't see the DOS command interface because in the description it has mentioned run DOS command or console app and store its output into its command error output and its exit code into this variable. Okay. Now why this window was not displayed for run DOS command is let's see the description. So if you see run DOS command, if I click on it, it says runs a DOS command or a console app in invisible mode. So that means it runs in the background. It does what it's supposed to do. It saves the uh, output in a variable called as command output. And that, that command output variable is passed onto this display message. So that's it, folks. Uh, this is how you run an application or, or run a DOS command uh, in Power Automate desktop. Thanks for watching.